So, just to make sure we, have, we remember who St. Francis was, he was a man who was born in a town called what? CZ. CZ in the country of? Italy. Italy. And uh, anybody seen the movie? Um, what's it called? What's the name of the movie? Oh, my no, my, my house in Tuscany or? House Under the Tuscan Sun? House Under the Tuscan Sun. Mm -hmm. You know where Tuscany is? It's a region in Italy. Well, see, he's not in Tuscany. <laughs> it's in a region just south of Tuscany called Umbria. Umbria. A CZ. Umbria. <coughs> really? Umbria is just as nice as Tuscany. It's, it's, a, it's so just the same. Lots of lovely trees. And you've been to California. California is a little bit like Umbria. It's, it's a very nice area. So Francis uh, grew, uh, was born in 1182 in uh, Assisi. Assisi is built on a hill, big mountain, Mount Subasio. And there's and then the rest of the hill, and then there's a valley down here. And there's a big fort up here called Rocco Maggiore. And most of the people lived down here. And there were some people who lived up here. And Assisi was divided basically to, if you were noble, in other words, if you were a count or a duchess or a kind of very important person, you lived up here. And you were called <coughs> the major players. And if you were poor, so it was either very wealthy and noble people or poor, and if you were here, you were called minor people. Like the minor leagues, you know, you're not the major leagues, you're in the minor leagues. Well, Francis was from a whole new class of people. He was kind of the top of the miners because his father was a salesman who sold uh, very nice textiles. He would go to France, to Germany, and buy textiles, bring them back, and sell them. So he made a lot of money. And this was new. He was what they call in the middle, what would you call that? Between the very rich and the very poor. Somebody who's in the middle? Average. Middle class. Middle class. Ever heard of that term? Middle class. Mm -hmm. So he's the beginning of the middle class. But Francis' father was not satisfied with that. Francis, he wanted his son to become noble. He wanted him to be the top, the best. And so he's trying to get him to become a soldier so he could become a knight and he'd become a nobleman. And so Francis grew up in this environment, and uh, at one point he went out to war against a neighboring town over here, Bacci, yeah, sorry, here, Perugia, uh, which was a, a big town, and Francis did terribly. He got caught by the, by the army, and he spent a year in jail, which he hated. Okay? And while he was in jail, he heard, he had a vision of God, and God said to him, Francis, like, if you... What would, what would a smart person do? If they went to a, to a very big estate, would they listen to the owner of the estate or would they listen to the servant? Who would they follow? I said, well, if you're smart, you're going to follow the owner, not the, not the servant. He says, why are you following the servant in life? In other words, instead of following me, God, you're following people who don't know where they're going, they don't know what they're doing. Get your priorities straight. So when he got, finally got released from the prison in Perugia, came back, and over here in the valley, he was wandering around thinking, what the heck am I doing? So he found this little church called San Damiano. And in the church, the church was all falling apart, the bricks were falling apart, he saw on the wall a cross. And it had a picture of Christ on it. He sat there and prayed. And we don't know whether he actually heard it with his ears or was in his brain. He heard a voice, the voice of Jesus on the cross, say to him, Francis, go and rebuild my house. So, what, do you, what would you do? You're in this church that's a disaster. The walls have all come down. All the rocks are on the ground. There's just birds and cobwebs. Just cross sitting there, and the cross, you hear the cross say to you, rebuild my house, which as you can see is falling apart. What would you do? Rebuild what? The church. The church. So that's what Francis did. He started rebuilding the church of San Damiano. 
And he fixed it up beautifully. He fixed up the cross. And the cross is what we call the San Damiano cross. It's in Assisi. We still have it in the Church of St. Clair. But you see it, actually our parish logo, that flag we have, that's a takeoff on the San Damiano cross. Anyways, while he was doing that, Everybody thought he was nuts. His parents thought he was nuts. His friends thought he was nuts. But Francis was a real party animal. He loved to party. He loved to dress nicely. He had the best clothes. But duh, his father was like Mr. Holden. He wore Harry Rosen. He had all the clothes he wanted. He had tons of money, so he could invite people to parties all the time. And he liked to have fun. So everybody liked to be with Francis because he had the money and the means to have a good time. So all of a sudden, he's here doing this wacko thing. And all his friends come around and say, what the hell are you doing? Why? What happened to you? Have you lost your head? And they're like, oh, okay. He says, well, you know, what are we chasing after in life? What's really, what's going to make us happy? So, one by one, his friends would come around and would see him working. I said, well, okay, well, we'll give you a hand. And they started working with him. And so many started coming that they decided, you know what? We're going to stick around and do this together. And before you knew it, he had six, seven guys, smart, talented guys, who decided they wanted to live with him. And together they got little huts, and they lived out in the fields, and they took care of San Damiano, and then they started taking care of people around there. And they became very popular. And St. Francis said, I never started this. I mean, I just did what I heard God tell me to do. But the Lord sent me brothers. And that's the beginning of Franciscan community. It was never planned. It was never on purpose. It's God's doing. Francis just did what he had to do. And others saw what he was doing. They liked it. And they wanted a piece of the action. And they came. And that's how Franciscan community started. 